Welcome to Math Tutorials. In today's lesson, we're going to take another look at factoring trinomials using AC method. And in particular, we're going to take a look at this problem. Factoring the trinomial 6x squared minus 11x minus 35 uh, using AC method. Okay, well the first thing for AC method is to identify your A and your C. So if you remember, uh, we're talking about a quadratic polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is the number on the x squared, b is the number on the x, and c is the constant. And they each include the sign that you see with it. So for AC method, the first thing you do is compute ac, or in other words, a times c. In this problem, it's 6 times negative 35. Now multiply that out. That's negative 210. And then what we're looking for is a combination of two numbers that do two things. They need to multiply to the number we just came up with. They need to multiply to AC, or in other words, negative 210. And then they also have to, at the same time, add to the number B up here, the negative 11. So we're looking for combinations of two numbers that multiply to negative 210 and add to negative 11. How do we find it? What we typically do is we list, start just listing numbers that multiply to 210, and then we worry about um, the signs later. So you could, for example, go through 1 times 210, and then you can say, okay, what else goes into 210? Well, it's an even number, so 2 goes in, and you'll find 2 goes in 105 times. Um, and you can just keep going through this. 3 goes in 70 times. And 5. 5 goes into 210. Um, what's it going to be? Well, it's going to be 42 times. And so on and so on. And what you're going to come to eventually is uh, one of the things you notice with numbers that end in 0 is it's a number times 10. So 210 is 10 times 21. Now that one jumps out at me because if I'm trying to get two numbers that add to 11, 21 and 10 could add to 11 if the signs work out. Okay, so take a moment to think about that. We need these to multiply to negative 210, which means one of these numbers has to be negative and the other one positive. And since they have to add to negative 11, the bigger one has to be negative. So negative 21 and positive 10 is our combination. Okay, make sure and check it one more time. 10 times negative 21 would be negative 210, and 10 plus negative 21 would be negative 11. So that's our combination. Now with AC method, it's very important to remember what you do with these two numbers. They are not the numbers that go inside your factors. What you do is you split the middle term, the x term, into two terms so as follows. So we had 6x squared minus 11x minus 35. But what we do with those two numbers we came up with is we split this x term. And instead of having negative 11x, it's going to be 10x minus 21x, or minus 21x plus 10x. It doesn't really matter. In this case, I'll write minus 21x plus 10x. And then don't forget your negative 35 on the end. So notice that we, re we changed this negative 11x into two terms, but they really are equal. Negative 21x plus 10x is still negative 11x. It's just been broken into two pieces. Now we do that because we want to do grouping, factor by grouping. And so we pair these up, 6x squared minus 21x and 10x minus 35, and then we factor from each pair. What can I pull out between 6x squared and 21x? Well, 3 goes into each number, and an x can come out of each. So factor out 3x, and that's going to leave 2x minus 7. Now over here in the second pair, don't forget my plus sign, in the second pair I'm going to factor out between 10x and 35. And with grouping, what you're trying to do is factor out a number so that it creates a 2x minus 7 like we see over here. So that kind of gives you a tip that 5 is what you would want to try. And when you pull 5 out of here, you get 2x minus 7 also. 
Now the last step of grouping is you observe that these two factors of 2x minus 7 are in common. So you pull that out times what's left. Okay, well when you pull these out, both of these are going to be in the front. They become 1, 2x minus 7 in the front, and what's left is 3x plus 5, and that's our final factorization.